Alright, how's it going guys? Mr. Employee here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can still exploit on PC after the new Bifron update. So that means I'll be showing you guys the best methods and best exploits out there right now that is still working. So the first method will be using Moomoo Moo Player right here. You can find the download link in the description which will direct you to this website right here. And you're going to want to go ahead and download this one on the left not the Android X version, it will not work on that version. And once you have it installed, you can just go ahead and open it up. So I'm gonna do right here, there we go, it's starting. Now once you're in the emulator, before we do anything else, you're gonna want to go to your settings tab and I'll show you guys how to optimize your settings for the best performance and best FPS. So in the settings tab right here, you're gonna want to go to advanced for the graphics rendering mode doesn't make a difference for me so you can either choose Vulkan or Speed Plus and down here in the most important part which is the performance there's low medium high and custom you're gonna want to select custom for the CPU part right here it should auto detect what should be best for you depending on your PC it's different for everyone for me it's four for the best performance I'm just gonna select that same with the memory tab right here you can select the best performance for you in my case it's 8 and you're gonna want to enable rendering acceleration and graphics card settings right here and after that you're gonna want to go to the interface settings and in the resolution settings this is important if you want to make your game look like on pc so select custom right here and put in the width for 1920 by 1080 which is my default monitor re resolution and for the dpi you're gonna want to put in 220 or 240 it's a preference thing so next in the game settings right here if you want more than 60 fps you're gonna want to select extra high fps mode and after that you're done you can just save and close right here and you will restart to confirm effects confirm the emulator will restart just like this once you're back you're gonna want to go to your browser to download the exploit and you can just go ahead and type in the search bar codex.lol just like that you can find the link also in our description down below so just click enter and you'll see this website right here you're gonna want to click the middle button download for android right there and click it again and it will redirect you to the link vertice link right here you're gonna want to complete the offers if you scroll down here Reaccess with ads. Let's complete that. After you finish the link for ties, you're gonna be redirected to this Mediafire website right here. You're gonna want to download Codex 600 in the middle. Click on that, and your download will start just like that. And if you want to find your download, you can find it on the notification bar right here on the top. So just hold, click, and drag it down here. You can see your download right here. Just gonna wait for it to download. Once the download complete, you're gonna want to click on this Codex 600.apk right here. Click on that. And after that, this menu will show up right here, Roblox. You're gonna want to click install right here. And there we go, app is installed. You're gonna want to click open. There we go, it will redirect you to the login page. Just log in right there. And after that, you can just join any game you want. So I'm just gonna join Blade Ball real quick to show you how it works all right there we go we're in the game if it's your first time you're gonna wait a bit before the gui shows up and also for the game to show up right here loading the textures and there we go just like that this gui will load up just like this before you get here there will be a whitelist system which is basically like a key system and you can watch our video how to do that link in the description the one with this thumbnail right here so you can drag out the ui by clicking the left side of the screen right here and drag it out to the right just like that so i'm just gonna go ahead and find a script for a blade ball i'm gonna search for battle hub which is the best script for this game right now all right just gonna select one of them right here and execute and then drag the ui back out again and click global scripts again to close out the ui just like that there we go and you will see this ui load up just like this and you can even drag the gui right here right around just like that so i'm just gonna go ahead and enable auto parry there we go if you want to use shift lock you can just use shift lock right here oh the button is blocked by the chat just enable that there we go as you can see it will auto parry the ball just like that it just killed someone else oh and so also by the way you can also unlock your fps by clicking the exploit settings right here there we go we have an unlock fps feature right here just enable that and drag the fps value all the way up to 999 and after that you're gonna want to go back in the game you can check the fps by clicking shift plus f5 
there we go there we go you can see the fps right here it's pretty stable like sub 50 to 60 fps and you can also move the camera around by holding left click or just clicking right click and the mouse cursor will be gone and you will be locked into like a similar chef lock feature so you can just move the camera around just like this there you go just kill someone all right there's only one more guy left so let's see how fast this auto parry is there we go come on let's do it let's try to catch this guy off guard by using my ability right now there we go just like that we won so yeah, this is the first method which is Mumu player and for the second one all right so for the second method it will be ld player this is the second best met method out there right now aside from Mumu player you can find the download link in the description you're gonna want to get the 9 version right here ld player 9 instead of the fifth one so just download that one right there it will download the installer just install that i've already done it so so once you've downloaded it you can just go ahead and open it there we go we're in the emulator now so the same as last time you're gonna want to go to the settings first you can find it right here on the top right in the events tab you have the resolution you're gonna want to do the same as last time the width 1920 and height 1080 and dpi 220 or 240 for the cpu cores you're gonna want to select the recommended amount which is 4 for me and the ram should be somewhere around 4 as well there we go and if you want high fps you're gonna want to go to the game settings and enable high frame rate right here confirm and you can select how, however many fps you want for the max fps i'm gonna select 240 there we go and after that you're gonna want to save settings and restart it just like that there we go and you can install codex the same way by going to your browser and typing in codex.lol just type it in and click enter so i'm just gonna quickly download it once you're done you can just go ahead and get in the game all right so for ld player i'm just gonna join blocks fruits right here enable the fast mode to reduce lag same as last time drag out the ui from the left right here and go to global scripts i'm gonna select i'm gonna type in blocks fruits there we go and enter so i'll just select whatever one right here ho ho vip click execute or you can paste in your own script right here in the editor tab which is what i'm gonna do right there just click on that and there we go this ui will load up just like this and i'm just gonna go ahead and enable auto farm level with melee enable that and there we go just like that i'm all auto farming in blocks through update 20 okay i'm spazzing out what is going on so that's the auto farm near i guess obtain bones for this auto farm is pretty quick compared to the ho ho up v3 all right well my rage meter is up i can probably awaken right now oh wait i need to disable this first awakening there we go awaken for race v4 what's going on here i guess it's all right Enable the auto farm again. There we go. So yeah, that's about it, I guess. I mean, this emulator is basically like exploiting on PC. You can drag out the GUIs around. You can move your camera around. So I don't know why that other guy keeps telling you to use blue stacks when it's so bad. He's probably like sponsored or something by them. <laughs> Alright, so that's about it for this video. And I will see you all next time.